Welcome to Sports Tonight Live. We're going to take a brief look at this year's World Cup, the biggest competition in the world. And I'm joined by David Gibbs. Gibbo, they call you Gibbo? Yeah, it's Gibbo. Gibbo. Yeah. Um, let's just take a look, first of all, at England's uh, group. And it's, 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 a, it's a toughie, isn't it? Uruguay, Costa Rica, Italy. Do we think they're going to get out of it? And uh, what's your view on that? It's a tough one. I think it's how we set up and start off with well. If we start off well and play well against Italy, we've got every chance. If we don't get out, Group, you know, start off well. It's not going to happen. I think. In, in relation to to Uruguay, um, Suarez may be injured. Um, Costa Rica, a bit of an unknown quality uh, quantity there. Do we expect that we're going to get enough points to get out of it? You know what? With England, we saw we saw somehow manage to sneak through, and we, we get in. And Uruguay is going to be the key game. That's the one. I mean, with Italy, we know they're a class act. If we can pick up a point against them. Maybe. And do you think the expectation level this year is, is much less than what it normally is? Do you think it's going to help the players? Definitely. Or? I, I think we're going into sort of a tournament unknown. We're not got a favourites tag on us, or the, the country demands us to do well. We'll be we'll we'll be about. And it, as I said, if we can pick up a few decent points to start off with, come to the last game, hopefully we should get three points against Costa Rica. We could see ourselves in the next rounds. So some some of the bookmakers are offering 100 to one to England. Uh, uh, to win the World Cup. I'll put, put a five on that. I'll put a five on that. Why not? Uh, take a look at some of the other nationalities. Obviously, being held in Brazil is going to be a big advantage to Brazil. And you've got teams like Argentina there as well and Uruguay. I mean, from the South American contingent, who do you think are the strongest? I think the South American teams are always teams to look out for. Again, no, no European team or any other nation has won a World Cup in South, South America. So I think Argentina and Brazil are going to be your favourites. I'm leaning towards Argentina. I don't think Brazil are as strong as they could be. Argentina definitely have a very, very good attack. You've got a very easy group as well, Argentina. It's an easy you group, know? you know, and to be honest, I think they could get to the semi-finals with ease. Hmm. Uh, but it, again, it's who they ma match up against, you know, with Aguero playing well, Messi, it's their time to shine. And from a, from a European point of view, I mean, if nation, uh, nations in Europe, you expect Germany to be there again, do we? You expect Germany to be there, but I don't think, you know, they've only taken one strike with them. Marisol closer. The rest of them, you know, they've, they've got their midfield, but if you looked at them in South Africa when they tore England apart with pace, they're not going to be able to do that in South America. With the heat, the climate, it's going to be a different game for them. I would probably look at Spain and, you know, a few dark horses with Belgium. Belgium are, Belgium are a good well, side. Well, some people fancy Belgium not even to make the pass the group, but there you go. I, That's I all about Belgium, opinions. Belgium would be a good side with the likes of Lukaku. I mean, they've got 12 base, premiership based players. And we know how good the league is. We see them week in, week out. They're the players I think will, we'll, you know, they might cause a little upset. OK, let's take, take a quick look at Group A. We've got Brazil, Croatia, Mexico, Cameroon. Do you expect um, Brazil and maybe Mexico? Or? I think Cameroon. Mexico haven't got the greatest, you know, they've got Javier Hernandez. He didn't score last night. So he's, I, I think Cameroon will probably just sneak it. OK, so we're going for Brazil and Cameroon from uh, Group A. Spain, Netherlands, Chile, Australia. We're going with Spain and Netherlands? Spain, Spain, Netherlands, yes. Chile will won the Netherlands very close. And that's going to be a cracking game. The Netherlands it? haven't got, they've got a good up front defence there. I think they're a bit weak. OK. Group C, Colombia, Greece, Ivory Coast, Japan. Colombia and Ivory Coast. OK. Not much of a group, that. Look, England should have been in that one. Uruguay, Costa Rica, England, Italy. Where'd you, where'd yeah. you go? Where'd you go? Um, you know, it's, I think it's going to be Italy and England. Just well, uh, got, got to be a bit patriotic, haven't okay. you? OK. Uh, Switzerland, Ecuador, France, Honduras, Group E. Another fairly moderate group, to say the least. France, um, uh, yeah, I think France and Switzerland, they should, they should, they okay. should get through. Uh, Argentina, um, Bosnia, uh, uh, you're going to pronounce that? Bosnia, Herzegovina. Thank you very uh, much. Um, Iran and Nigeria. I think, you know, it's going to be Nigeria and Argentina. I, I don't think... Bosnia have got enough. They've, they've got a lad in midfield who plays, I think he's at Roma. Right. I can't remember okay. his name. Um, and then obviously they've got Checo, but Argentina, I think Nigeria might just sneak in. Okay. G Germany, Portugal, Ghana, USA. Who are you going for? Germany and Portugal. Okay. And the final group, Belgium, Algeria, Russia, Korea. Oh, South Korea, obviously. Um, I, f I think it's going to be Belgium and I think Russia. Mm. Oh. Tough Russia, one. Russia. I think Russia will might just sneak it. OK, so from your point of view, Gibbo, who's going to win it? Who's going to be runners-up? Brazil and possibly Argentina. Could be sort of all of South American final. OK, that's it. That's our brief look at the World Cup with uh, Gibbo. Let's hope when we look back on this clip, he's predicted the winners <laughs> of the World Cup.